All right, I'm so glad somebody asked this because it's actually a really interesting story. So artificial banana flavor actually does taste like real bananas. It's just that the bananas that it tastes like are not the variety that are the most widely available today. So in the US, artificial banana flavor was actually more widely available before actual bananas were. And a lot of people tasted the artificial flavor before they had even tasted a real banana. So how in the world did it happen in that order? Well, it was around 1860 and chemists were working on synthesizing flavor compounds for candies and such and they synthesized something called isoamyl acetate. So at the time, they noticed the fruity aroma. However, they didn't know that it was actually a compound in bananas yet. Uh, if you've ever taken an undergrad ochem lab, you probably remember this lab where you synthesize isoamyl acetate and it smells like bananas. It's a very general fruity flavor, so depending on the country or even the person, they could associate it with a different fruit. So the British actually associated it with a pear flavor because that was common in the region at the time and pears weren't as common in the US. So they used it in pear flavored candies. All right, so why is it that banana candies, banana Laffy Taffy, things like that don't taste like actual banana? Like I said at the starting, they do, but it tastes more like a variety that is not grown in very many places anymore. So that variety was called the Gros Michel and it was basically wiped out almost entirely in the 1950s due to a fungal disease. So that was the prominent variety before then, now what we have today is the Cavendish variety, and it doesn't taste the same as the Gros Michel did. However, what they later found out, and this was actually after the artificial banana flavor um, was synthesized, um, they ended up finding out that isoamyl acetate is an actual compound in bananas. And they found out that there's actually more isoamyl acetate in the Gros Michel variety, which is why that artificial flavor tastes more like that variety than it does the Cavendish. So it's not even the case that when they developed that artificial flavor that they were trying to mimic the Gros Michel. Again, when they actually synthesized the isoamyl acetate in the first place, they didn't even know that it was in an actual banana. To them, it just smelled fruity and they marketed it they marketed it in the US as a banana flavor. It is really interesting though, because it does taste more like that older variety. And so when you are tasting that banana flavor, um, no, it doesn't taste like the bana bananas that we have today, but it does taste like those bananas that were around before the 1950s, 1960s. So even though of course flavor chemists today could create a banana flavor that more closely represents the bananas we are familiar with today, um, that banana flavor in candies and puddings and, and confections has been around for so long that that's what we expect when we eat a banana flavored candy now. It's an heirloom banana flavor, if you will.